The Medic is one of the most powerful classes in the game, capable of breaking through any defense and withstanding even the most intense assault. However, finding one willing to help you in a pub is about as likely as any of the four snipers in your team actually pushing the car. So, Valve has implemented a bunch of great weapons that heal the user, and I'm going to be counting down my top 10. And to clarify, I'm not including any miniguns to keep the list fresh. Number 10. The Powerjack is an all-round great utility weapon. It is most well known and used for its speed boost while active, which is invaluable to a class such as Pyro. However, it has a secondary effect in which you gain 25 health on a kill. This health gain, while minor, has the interesting property of overflowing into overheal, which means you will almost always gain value for a kill. If you can brave the risk of damage vulnerability while it's active, that is. Another great synergy the power jack has is the increased speed when going for a kill since you'll be able to hunt down your target faster. The reason the power jack is so low on this list is because while it's an amazing weapon, its ability to restore health, while useful, is minor and pales in comparison to the weapons to come. The power jack's combination of all-purpose utility and reliability definitely earns it the number 10 spot. Number 9. The gunmetal changes have made the Delocus Bar a really nice alternative for the roaming heavy. When you're without a medic, heavy's 300 health can disappear in a flash of spam and bullets, so being able to overheal yourself to 350 and temporarily even higher as a buffer for damage is really amazing. Plus, the Delocus Bar regenerates quickly, allowing you to restore your health in a pinch. To top it all off, it can be thrown to teammates as a mini health kit and recharges more quickly than the sandwich, making it a, a pseudo mini sandwich dispenser. These factors all add up to make the Delocus Bar a sweet enough deal to earn the number 9 spot on this list. Number 8 The Candy Cane is a really strange weapon. First of all, all of the positive and negative attributes are passive, so you can be playing as the Candy Cane Scout without even pulling the weapon out once. On kill, if you have the candy can in your loadout, the enemy drops a small health kit, which is a really unique and fun effect. You can support your teammates, put out fire on yourself, or heal up just by getting kills. This weapon is really powerful, but it is quite low on the list due to its downside. The 25% explosive vulnerability means you can get one shot by rockets and grenades if you aren't overhealed, which is a pretty big deal. However, if the enemy has little explosive classes, you can strap on the candy cane with no downsides, which is incredible. Another downside of the weapon is the fact that the health kit dropped on kill is not team specific, so you may end up embracing the spirit of giving a little too much and heal up the enemy team instead. All up, while the candy cane is weapon with a crippling downside, it has an upside that can really make or break a pusher's scout and really deserves its spot on this list. Number 7. The Half Satoichi is a weapon infamous for its random crits and its high risk, high reward playstyle. You are rewarded with a full heal on kill with this blade, but at a risk of not being able to sheath it once you pull it out. This weapon is far more potent on Demo Knight than Soldier, allowing a lucky knight to gain multiple crits in a row, healing off all damage in between strikes. It's great on a sticky or rocket jumping demo or soldier too, because it allows you to gain back all the health invested in an explosive jump. The full heal mechanic is really powerful, and while it has a decent downside, a skilled player can manipulate and play around it by knocking enemies into the air before going for the kill. And that's why it has this spot on the list. Number 6. The kunai is the definition of overhealing. On backstab, a spy with the kunai can absorb the victim's health, and bump his own health up to a massive 210. This isn't any ordinary overheal, it decays at a slower rate than regular overheal, which allows you to have more time to utilize the buff effectively. This massive health pool, combined with the added resistances the watch grant while invisible, makes spy very tanky, and allows him to escape some impossible situations. The knife also functions well as a chain stab knife, and allows a gun spy to soak up more damage while in combat with this revolver. The downside is pretty massive, but if you're extremely careful and you know your hiding spot, it's possible to sneak around until you've got a guaranteed stab, and then go for it. It's the kunai's ability to heal beyond the limits of overheal, which earns it this spot in my top 10. 
Number 5. It's safe to say the Flog is the weapon on this list that most people least associate with healing. After all, the insane damage output and crits of this weapon is what generally gets people most riled up. However, the Flog has its own insane healing mechanic that nobody complains about and most people overlook. All you have to do is fill up your oomph meter, take your pick of any of Pyro's excellent flare gun secondaries to do so, and then taunt. Boom! Instant heal. There's even a damage reduction during the taunt alongside your full heal, just in case. The Flog's ambushing potential is high, but the drawback of having no air blast means he needs to be able to tank a little damage in the process. Of course, if you're ambushing properly, you might not even need the extra health, as your enemies will disintegrate before they can even turn around. It's the easy to get, instant health regen and damage reduction that earns this weapon a place on my list. Number 4 The Conch really is amazing. Not only does it grant a decent passive health regen, but the rage is easy to fill up with only 480 damage needed, and when you release it, it really allows your team to push. Grinding everyone around you in a 450 hammer unit radius a really nice speed boost, as well as an amazing 35% lifesteal on damage. This kind of utility means the conch is useful in almost any stage of the game, and is one of the only banners with a solid passive effect. The ability to provide a speed buff is very unique, the only other way to do so to teammates is with the inconsistent and vulnerable disciplinary action whips. Perfect for bombing in on enemies, chip damage and your own self-inflicted rocket jump damage is healed up in no time. The biggest downside of this weapon is the fact that you don't have a shotgun, so remember to get back and reload before going back into the fight or using your rage. This weapon enables a lot of really incredible melee tactics, in which the usefulness of soldiers melee weapons multiply due to his newfound movement speed thanks to the buff. All up. This weapon is absolutely incredible, and one of the best weapons to pick up if you're finding yourself low on health on the battlefield. Number 3 The Black Box. Infamous in combination with the Conqueror, the Black Box does just what it says on the tin, heals on hit. This kind of consistent and reliable heal is incredible for fighting other classes such as Soldier and Scout, allowing you to brush off that chip damage and win an extended fight. Combined with the gunboats, a black box soldier is incredibly mobile and only has to hit one rocket in order to enable another jump. This playstyle is incredibly fun and powerful, allowing you to sneak around the map looking for targets to kill and heal off. A soldier with a black box wants to be constantly engaged, constantly spamming and reloading. A 3 rocket per clip limit does hurt, but not enough to make the health gain worthless. This weapon definitely deserves the number 3 spot due to its utility and the ability to keep a soldier's health topped off indefinitely. Number 2 the Mad Milk is like the Conch on steroids. Unlike the Conch in which you have to earn your rage and lifesteal by dealing damage, the Scout could just grab a jar of creamy goodness right out of the resupply locker, and it regenerates naturally rather quickly as well. Unlike the Conch's 35% lifesteal, the Mad Milk will allow you to heal a mind-boggling 60% off targets covered in milk. This is insane considering you can potentially cover multiple people in milk, and your teammates can shoot them as well. This amount of health regeneration on the class, with the capability to avoid damage, such as Scout, is incredibly overpowered. And it's really difficult to avoid since it's thrown like a projectile and can hit targets in a splash radius. Not only that, it has utility use to uncover invisible spies and put out fire. This weapon doesn't only belong on my list, but it also belongs on Valve's list in their nerfs department. Let's change things up and have some honourable mentions before we get to the number one spot. The Shortstop. The Shortstop's increased healing while active worked brilliantly with the Mad Milk, Candy Cane and just regular old health packs, however it didn't do enough on its own in terms of regeneration to make the list. Next, the Black Scratcher. In a similar vein to the Shortstop, this weapon is really nice for a flanking pyro, but couldn't make the cut because the increased health from packs wasn't enough to top the others on this list. Finally, the Blood Saga. I love this weapon, but the passive health regen you lost by equipping it made it hard to justify a spot on this list. Although the health you can drain is great against a bad player, a situation in which players will feed you health aren't common enough to make up for the lost passive gain. And now for some dishonorable mentions. The Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol's health gain on hit is awful, not enough to reliably make any difference, plus it fires at the speed of molasses and makes you vulnerable to damage while it's out. 
The warrior's perch plus 10 health on it is cute, but doesn't even make up for the minus 20 health cut from your total just for equipping it. The cozy camper regenerates your health at such an incredibly slow rate that you'd probably be better off just equipping the Darwin's danger shield for just the passive plus 25 max health. And the number one spot goes to... Call me predictable, but my number one healing weapon in TF2 is the Sandwich. It's the original lunchbox item, the first tier we got, and really allowed Heavy to work independently from his medic, and even improved their synergy together as well, with Heavy being able to toss the support a medium health kit on demand. Now, it's probably not as overpowered as the Mad Milk, but the Sandwich is a solid, reliable, and time-tested option. Being able to chow down to restore your health to full in a few seconds is so important to a Heavy on the move, and this weapon kind of gave Heavy a secondary slot, as Heavy's shotgun was about as used as the option for Spider Disguise as a friendly player. And there we go. Do you agree with my list, or not? Leave your love letters in the comments below. That's all I got right now, and I'll catch you guys next time.